Hi guys, it's me, your Jimmy a Geek. Here are some of the few reasons why you should get the Aya Neo. The number one reason is the screen size. 7 inch display is the best sweet spot. Anything below 7 inch, 6.9 inch, 5 inch, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, I'm not going to game. I need at least 7 inch with 16 by 9 or 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Then I can game, especially any AAA game, the upcoming Oblivion 6 or like GTA 6, GTA 5 or maybe the upcoming GTA 6 on lower setting, maybe the Sleeping Dog, Hitman or like, like what, the Far Cry 5 or any these kind of game which are 3D highly uh, graphical dependent game. I really need to have a 7 inch display because 5.5 inch or 6 inch anything below 7 is like torturing yourself 7 inch is the best sweet spot and number 2 is the controller layout again I'm very happy they do not use a crappy controller layout similar to GPD win I love the controller layout of our Xbox which they are implementing like it's very comfortable to game for a longer period of time the controller layout is the second reason why you should get the Ionio and number two three reason you should get the Ionio is the AMD Ryzen processor it's a APU not a typical processor what is APU APU means CPU plus graphic card or a single chip now I know Intel is trying to copy them with their latest uh, i5 i7 with the Irish chip on it everyone know Intel is a copycat Intel boo 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 you copycat Intel you loser don't cry yeah like Intel is in a state of crying. <laughs> oh, AMD, what you did with us? Do you remember 2013, 2014 when we are the king? Yeah, in 2014, Intel was used to be the king. They mock AMD. Now is the time to make fun of Intel. Intel! Okay, let's get back to the reason 3. The Ryzen 4500U, which is amazing. My personal. I love it. It I, it doesn't really matter. Get five or ten per frame more or less than the Intel counterpart. That thing matters. It driver sport. I'm not a guy who's over going to overclock. I'm not a person who's going to underclock or under voltage. I'm a person who get the device turn on and do everything on the stock setting without going to BIOS. That is a fun. Because once you start to like underclocking, overclocking, over voltage, that kind of crap, the fun is gone. You are not going to focus on the gameplay like for every game no maybe I underclock no maybe I overclock I I'm, I'm going to get a better FPS or maybe I'm going to under voltage maybe I'm going to get more battery life your brain is going to be in a constant battle that's why I love the setting to be smooth the way the developer the way the engineer wanna make don't get me wrong maybe you are fine with half hour one hour battery life and you want to run your device at an overclocking speed or you want to run your device at a uh, like 20 watt 15 watt you are fine with that absolutely fine no problem maybe I, I will be also fine because like mostly I'm going to game like outside for like half hour and then I'm going to put on charger that's why sometimes like uh, over vaulting is not a big problem I can run in 15 watts 20 watts just for a better performance but I don't I'm not going to tinker every time for every game I'm just going to leave on that setting but if you wanna play out of box AMD Ryzen and the and the number four reason is that there is going to be a I new SO I new pro or something like that like uh, it's going to be the same body everything is going to be same but it's going to have the AMD Ryzen 5500U processor yeah we all know AMD Ryzen 5500U is coming also in the GPD WinMax 2 but the good thing is that maybe 6 months later 1 year later they are just going to update the processor without updating the design so they do not have to put any money in research and development they just have to swap the processor do few software setting blah 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 buy another that's simple so because because if you buy the INU right now maybe after six months or one year you are going to upgrade to the AMD Ryzen 55U and then you're going to sell your current INU online or I don't know maybe on Crackless or eBay and number five reason you should get the INU is that there's no competition it's, it's the only true handle gaming PC on the market right now GPD Win 2, I love it, I admire it, but crappy battery, 
crappy display crappy keyboard very thick i don't know what was that so it was not still not true the only true handle gaming pc uh, up to right now was the gpd win max it was the only like in my opinion i and you do not have any competition from gpd win max 3 like who 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 give a crap of gpd win max uh, sorry i and you do not have any competition from the gpd win 3 the 5.5 inch the slider one no one give crap to that crappy 5.5 inch crappy plastic crappy keyboard crap or the only competition i and you have is the gpd win max and the upcoming win max 2 maybe th that is the only competition but but again if you want the if you just want a game i and you have a much better like billion time better gameplay layout if you want to type also then for typing definitely gpd win is the answer but for gamer who really need the handle format similar to nintendo switch i and you is the king gpd boo 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 like i mean like i i want to make fun of gpd like i will make fun remember gpd i bought the gpd win 2 for my own money i contact you on skype i tell you i'm a youtuber from china i can come to your office first i ask you for the review unit you decline i say okay no problem you don't want to support someone local you want to you want to send your gpd to around the world to every American, New Zealand, Australian YouTuber out there, but you don't want to support something local. This is your patriotism. This is your you call your love for your motherland. Like I live in China, I tell you, I I can come to your office. I know where your office was. I say okay, okay, okay. I bought it for my own money from eBay, and then it was defective. It did not turn on. I contact GPT. Like, like no one helped me. Like one year warranty is a joke if you buy GPD product, just forget about the warranty. There's no warranty. Like I tell them I can come to your factory also in Shenzhen. You know what someone in Reddit say go to the discourse and there's some dude. Uh, okay, what's your problem? What is the problem? Did you change the battery? How the hell I can change the battery? Why the hell should I change the battery? Is the battery swappable? No. You I bought a I bought a device. Why should I have to put my own back to figure it out? Why I have to troubleshoot? I bought the device. Do not work. It's simple. Repair it or take back or give me my money or give me a new unit. You refuse to help me for two weeks. Like you, after three days, you give me a little reply. Not on email. Not on Skype. On stupid Discord. This is your customer service. This is your customer service. GPD again. Do not get me wrong. I appreciate your GPD Win Max is an amazing device, but your customer service is crappy. You refuse to acknowledge me like I do not exist. Yeah, I do not exist. You think? You think Jimmy do not exist? You think you can send to every YouTuber your device and then they are going to praise? I'm not one of them. If your product is crap, it's crap. If I and you is going to turn out to be crap, I'm going to tell you guys it's crap. Do not buy. No one can buy Jimmy Ake. You never saw a single ad. You never saw like a crappy Wix ad, Squarespace ad, or you never saw any ad like the what is called red shadow legend like guys this video is sponsored by the red shadow legend guys this video is sponsored by the vpn because i'm going to watch a lot of pornography so my parents do not figure out i'm going to use vpn i never ever a lot of company contact me a lot of company in china want to send me the devices for free to you if i'm not interested i'm not going to i'm going to review anything i want Maybe I'm going to review like anything I want, but it's all up to me. No one can buy me. Jimmy a geek is not crap. I'm uncorruptable. Okay, enough. If I and you wanna send me their device, maybe they can corrupt me a little bit. I and you, are you ready to corrupt me? No, you cannot corrupt me. Again, if you wanna send me your device, I will be honest. No, like if your device turned out to be crappy, I will just send you back. If it turned out to be good, I'm gonna talk because I really wanna focus on the aspect which a lot of YouTubers are not looking. I'm going to focus on the productivity aspect. Can you use as a main 7 inch tablet? Can you use as your main device for like commuting? For gaming? What kind of games you can play? Like that's all. I'm gonna say you buy! It was me, Jimmy a Geek. Bye.